downrange uh, through which it will be going. Looks like it's at about, uh, oh, what would you say, 6,000 feet, something like that, perhaps? It's pretty low. It was uh, 8,000 a little earlier and looks lower to now. Might even be lower than that. Uh, that's uh, only going to take us through uh, less than a minute of flight. And uh, then she's going to disappear behind that cloud. And uh, our long-range cameras that do such a beautiful job uh, aren't going to get to see the separation of the S1C uh, first stage or the staging into the second stage or the staging to the third stage, which we have seen in the past with that remarkable camera. Uh, that's a disappointment, uh, but uh, at least we'll watch launch off here. That's the cue ball, uh, the shield on the top, very top of the uh, spacecraft configuration, the entire Apollo 14, and that's what blows off at 10 minute, 10 seconds uh, before the launch. Of those five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V will Here's begin the voice, at 8.9 seconds. Jack King, and we'll stay with him now for the next minute and 45 seconds to launch. Still go with Apollo 14. We'll go on internal power in the Saturn V launch vehicle at the 50-second mark in the count. At ignition and liftoff, we'll have more than 7.5 million pounds of thrust pushing the space vehicle off the launch pad. This is the heaviest Saturn V space vehicle to be launched thus far. Coming up on the 1 minute 20 second mark. 1 minute 20 seconds and counting still go at this time. Third stage tanks now are pressurized according to our stratus board here in the firing room. 1 minute 10 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control coming up in 60 seconds. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting. Still go with the count. First stage uh, tanks are now pressurized as our status board uh, gives us a rundown on the automatic sequence. 50 seconds and counting. We've now gone on internal power on the internal batteries of the Saturn V as the count continues. 40 seconds and counting, Alan Shepard reports that he's performing his final guidance alignment, the final uh, maneuver the astronauts perform before liftoff. 30 seconds and counting, Stu Russo just said thanks, it's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting, we are still go. 20 seconds, guidance alert, the guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff with Apollo 14, three minutes past the hour, the tower is clear, Houston is controlling, it's out. 16 seconds, pitch and roll program started, 14 maneuvering to a proper flight course. Pressure coming down, adjusting from sea level to a space environment. We have a remote camera. Status check in mission control, coming up all greens on the flight director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. All right. Oh, One well, minute, 19 picture, seconds That's coming great. up on period of maximum aerodynamic be... pressure on the vehicle. That, that camera you see is further down range, it's down the Florida coast here, and apparently they've got a clear shot. Huh? I think this is the Vero Beach camera, in fact, yeah. way down there. Yes, it looks great. It's what, uh, it's what, 60 miles down, down the coast. One minute, uh, 35 seconds, uh, nine nautical miles in altitude, five nautical miles down range. Uh, velocity now reading uh, 3340 uh, feet per second. They've been through the uh, first real test, the maximum demanding pressure area. That came at 1 minute 25 seconds into the flight. Uh, that's uh, where they get the maximum buffeting as they escape. Pass the through Max Q. Mode 1 Charlie. Mark, 1 Charlie now. We're 1 Charlie. EDS auto is off. We have gotcha. seen the uh, first Two stage shut down now. Uh, coming up on uh, center engine shutdown. 
minutes, 12 seconds, 20 nautical miles in altitude. And more cut off. Roger, and board. Center engine shut down on time. That's two minutes, 25 seconds, 25 nautical miles in altitude, 30 nautical miles downrange. Another 15 seconds, all of those uh, first stage engines cut down. The other four on the outer Mark, ring. Two minutes, 35 seconds uh, coming up uh, on staging. That's a great shot. Beautiful. Good on there. Roger. And separation. Roger. Ignition on five. Roger. Great. That next stage is going. staging. Uh, the Shepard crew now riding on five good second stage engines. On five engines. Look at that. You can see that big first stage Roger, dropping back there. Roger. Good thrust on all five. This is the one we hope to fly the, back uh, sometime in the future. The giant first stage falling away now. It's day's work done. That's a frightening. Three minutes, ten seconds, coming up on skirt step and tower jettison. Frightening explosion when that thing separates. You think the whole gotcha. thing's gone. You should see it from the inside. <laughs> you yeah. can see it, really. There you see the tower jettison. The tower. And now they can gotcha. all look out. <laughs> That's the tower oh, that had more power, power than I flew on before. Great sequence. That's the best picture. Three minutes, 35 yes. seconds, uh, 14 now, 33 feet shorter, 9,000 pounds lighter, uh, moving out well beyond the Earth's atmosphere. We show an altitude of uh, 16 nautical miles. That's the tower right at the top of the uh, Saturn that would pull the command module free in case there were a catastrophic uh, disaster in the Mark, uh, three minutes, 55 seconds, 63 nautical miles in altitude, 143 nautical miles downrange, velocity now. Send that four minutes, trajectory and guidance look good. 14, roger. That's, uh, that's Roos's voice we're hearing, uh, isn't it? Uh, it is, yes. Roger, CMC, go. Roger, CMC, go. Four minutes, uh, 20 seconds, velocity now reading at uh, 10,750 feet per second, then accelerating. The voice you're hearing from ground control. In uh, mission control, Apollo 14's trajectory data, driving right down the middle of our plot boards. Uh, right now, flight path data is go. That voice is John McLeish, the voice of Apollo and the mission control in Houston. The capsule communicator you hear talking to the spacecraft is Major Gordon Fullerton, uh, one of the astronauts. And the voice you hear from the Apollo uh, is that of the command module pilot, 37-year-old uh, Stuart Rusa. He's sitting Coming there in the middle seat. Five minutes, uh, 78 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 235 nautical miles downrange. And so it looks like Apollo 14 got away from Florida and Retro this part of Earth in very good shape. 14 is clear of the uh, Atlantic uh, weather. It's pointed out to me here that the reason our pictures are so good and the great good fortune we've got that that camera is, is down the Florida coast and out of this immediate storm area, and isn't that amazing? Just, just 60 miles or so down there, I think, but it's fairly clear there up to that moment. Predicted uh, uh, time uh, for S2 shutdown, uh, 9 minutes, 16 seconds, uh, very close to normal. We're at five minutes, 45 seconds. But, uh, Stand by for S4B to COI. Mark, S4B to COI now. S4B to COI. Roger, and your times are nominal. Level sense arm, eight plus three, niner. And S2 cut off at niner plus one, six. Yeah, nominal, here comes. Yes, Capcom two. Gordon Fullerton reporting that 14 capable of reaching a minimum orbit uh, with a combination of a good third stage and service module engines. Meanwhile, in mission control, a status check being taken, coming up all greens. So it's like no make uh, there. Six minutes, 20 seconds, uh, 1491 nautical running. They can make their uh, Earth orbit now under any orbit. circumstance. Right. This is significant to us because you know that you can at least get there rather than have to abort possibly and go into a continent area and you don't like to land that way but at least you can have a chance now to overfly the surface of the earth and not worry about impacting land the uh, the next event uh, coming up here is in uh, about a minute when the center engine cut off of the uh, s2 Mm -hmm. Six minutes, 55 seconds, 95 nautical miles in altitude. That's what, that's the one that cut off early on uh, Apollo 13. 13, uh, right. But uh, 
they had enough boost in the remaining four uh, engines of the uh, S2 to get the well, good. That was another one of the changes to have an accumulator in the lines to prevent this so-called oscillation or pogo effect, yeah. which caused a premature shutdown. I can't say we have those fellows as rookies anymore. They're committed. <laughs> 7 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, uh, 14 uh, flying almost uh, parallel over the ocean now with Shepard, uh, with the Shepard crew in a heads down position. Really moving out now for downrange distance. Uh, we show downrange of 587 nautical miles. Inward cut off. Roger, inboard. That was Shepard. That was a center engine shutdown right on time. Good right. thrust on the other four. Al's flown farther now than he did before. <laughs> yeah, he's flown farther. He's still got uh, seven more minutes before he equals his 15-minute flight before. He's, uh, he's within seven minutes of doubling his time in space. On well, the flight of Apollo 14, has Eight minutes, gotten off after a 40-minute hold. 98 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 700 uh, nautical miles downrange. I must say, looking up at those clouds, I didn't know we were going to make it today. 81 feet per second. Staging status. Your go for state. PMC is go. I just the MC go. That's the uh, outboard engine cutoff. Uh it's supposed to come now at uh, 9 minutes and 17 seconds into the flight. That's about another 35, yeah, 40 seconds. Time now. Time. And then we get the first test of that S-4B, which is so vital to the flight out to the moon. Uh, that's the last of the third stages. It's a 20,500-pound thrust engine, and uh, it's got the light for the first time. Mark, 9 minutes these, uh, to 100 nautical miles in altitude, 830 nautical miles downrange. That's vital for coming back, too, remember. That's right. <laughs> then it shuts down, fires again. Yeah, uh, the S-4B I'm talking about. That's yes, yes. Yeah, that's SPS we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Roger, mode point. 4. That uh, mode 4 call uh, says a good uh, service. Off. Roger, cut off. And staging. Roger. And good thrust on one. Yeah. Roger. Great. So the S-4B ignition minutes, uh, 30 seconds. Place. Thrust looks good on the S-4B after staging. Looks good on the S-4B. Thank you. The uh, Shepard crew has now used up two-thirds of their Saturn stages on their way to orbit. We're at 9 minutes, uh, 45 seconds, 101 nautical miles in altitude, 989 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading at 23,300. 23,313 feet per second. Well, this S-4B fires until 11 minutes and 43 seconds into the flight. That's another minute and a half, approximately. Okay, Houston, everything's looking perfect here. Roger. By that time, they're achieving an orbital speed of Almost 18,000 miles an hour. 10 minutes, 25 seconds, 102 nautical miles now. Altitude, uh, 11,443 nautical miles downrange. Velocity uh, now reading uh, 24,206 feet per second. They should uh, hit the orbit to the window, a little keyhole in the sky into orbit. Proper orbit. And Houston, yep. predicted cutoff is uh, as planned. One one plus four three. That's Rusa, I guess. Predicted uh, time of shutdown: eleven minutes uh, forty three seconds. I think that number came up from the uh, trajectory team. That was that down minutes, 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 ten yes. seconds. Mm -hmm. And Houston, predicted cutoff: one one plus four three. Nominal. Over. Right, one, 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 three. Oh, that was risky. Downrange distance now 1,322 nautical miles. 11 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. So we've got about another 10 seconds now, and we'll get that last cutoff and the parking orbit uh, insertion. Standing by now for shutdown. We've got a good cutoff. Roger. Yeah. Sounds about right, a little yep. second early, possibly. Shut down. Uh, we'll stand by uh, now for preliminary orbital readings, uh, both on board and uh, from the ground. It's kind of fun to say parking orbit when you're zinging around at 18,000 miles an hour, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they're 
at that point suspended between the Earth's gravity and the, and the momentum that uh, they have picked up uh, into space, so that they it's a parking arm. They're hanging out there. They're really, you know, oh, yeah, sure. Done. Well, they're, they're really falling around the Earth, which is rather interesting, at the rate of the Earth's curvature. That's Good show. Go orbit. Booster safe. Super cool. <laughs> Raja, good show. Go orbit. Zero power two coming off now. 